Hey guys, John Adams from the Rehab and Documentation Guru, wrapping up the week and probably not going to be doing any videos over the weekend. I can't imagine I will. But uh, anyway, I hope you're staying healthy and safe. Hope you're getting to see patients. I am, and I'm very blessed, although we've had some cancellations. But I was actually able to get some overtime this week, which is amazing because I got less than, um, I got 22 hours last week. It's not a good week, not a good week, and not a good paycheck. So this will help. Um, anyway, uh, the reason I'm making the video is I had a patient today who had a progressive muscular dystrophy. Um, I'm not going to give the specific disease because uh, many of you know where I work, and uh, I don't want to be too specific and therefore give too much information. Just know that this is a fairly young man compared to most men that we would see in the home health setting who has a progressive muscular dystrophy. And he presented with sway back uh, posturing. And you might remember, especially PTs back in the day called school, we learned about sway back, which basically entailed uh, in a standing posture, somebody um, in such excessive hip extension and flattening of their low back um, that they would rest on the anterior aspects of their hip joint capsules um, just to maintain posture. And he also had locked out knees. And one of the things you can tell right away when you see somebody with that kind of posturing is likely very extensive weakness in their hip extensors and their knee extensors. Um, that's how they're maintaining themselves is just through ligament stability to stand up. And sure enough, that's how he tested. So uh, my quick point, the purpose of my video is just to remind you that use postural na analysis to help you determine how what muscles you should be looking at for strength deficits. Because posture tells you a whole lot about what the patient's muscular capabilities may be. I may do another video on him next week because there was another clinical finding that uh, if I remember, I will cover as well. Anyway, take care, God bless, stay healthy, and have a good weekend.